Welcome to Mike Does History. Just arrived out here at the Great Serpent Mound. Now if you look the Serpent Mound up on, on Google Earth or on MapQuest, you can actually see an aerial view of it. This thing is enormous. We are up close and personal. This thing's probably four to five feet tall in certain areas. Now if you can see, this is actually the coil of the serpent. So it's all, all coiled up here with a brilliant view. Look at that, that's so pretty. Now something interesting about the serpent mound that is not, not the case in many other places or in any other place that I know of is that the serpent mound is actually built on an old meteorite site. Meteorite struck here and there is far more iridium in this area. Iridium does not naturally occur on Earth. There is far more iridium in this site than anywhere else, which makes this site kind of radioactive. We have a small park here, it's about 60 acres. Uh, Serpent Mound, if you're not familiar with it, is one of the largest, if not the largest, effigy mound in the world. It's stretched out from end to end, it's just over a quarter of a mile long. Now, the park itself is only about 60 acres, but the park is right in the middle of a four mile wide impact crater. Matter of fact, we're the only known impact crater in the state of Ohio right now. It's only been in the last 30 years or so that geologists even call this an impact site. Before that, you know, the unique topo topography out here shows that at one time that the uh, uh, ground had been forced upward about four or five hundred feet. Uh, they called it the Serpent Mount Crypto Explosion, the theory being that the mantle from underneath the Earth was actually pushing the ground up. Well, technology is a wonderful thing. Uh, geologists now can look down into the ground with new ground penetrating radar. Uh, surprise, 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 the bedrock is crushed down and not blown out. All along the edge of what used to be the wall of the crater, traces of an element known as iridium have been found. Iridium is not normally found here on Earth, but is associated with meteor impact sites. Did the Native Americans know they're in an impact crater? Probably not. Uh, this site was just a, an appropriate site for them to build this effigy. Uh, it's, you know, the effigy itself goes out on a promontory and way out at the uh, head, on three sides you have cliffs. So if you're building a sacred site that you want to, you know, protect, what's a better way to do it than having three sides having, you know, sheer drop-offs? Uh, plus, the promontory is positioned in such a way that it's facing toward the setting sun in the summer solstice, which is a very important day in the Native American mythology. If you sit right in the mouth and you divide that big oval right in front of the mouth, right in half, it's within one degree of that specific celestial line. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we are not makers of history, we are made by history.